hey what's going on guys welcome back to another scripting tutorial so today i'll teach you how to make a punch script that also does damage this and that also like has an animation this animation right here is just a quick one i made i'm a lot better at animating but yeah i guess we could get started okay so to start we want to go to start our player open it and start our character scripts we want to add a local script so let's um add a local script then we can remove print hello world and now we can start so uh let's uh start off with making some like um shortcut things i guess so like this is how you can control the script so we'll do if it can do damage so we'll do that true and then we'll do the keybind equals f you could change this to whatever you want and then we'll do the damage equals 10 so this is how much damage it does uh, the key button that you press for it to work and uh, if it can do damage at all then we'll do uh, so lo some locals so we'll do local plr equals game dot players player <laughs> players dot local player um so if you don't know what a local is it's basically just like a shortcut so instead of me typing game dot players dot local player i just have to type plr that's it then we could do local mouse equals uh plr get get mouse open bracket close bracket um let's also let's just rename this local script to punch uh punch script and then we could add an animation into it hold on let me uh animation right there and then you could put your animation id in here so we could uh continue we could do mouse um dot key down connect um function and we could do that function key and then we could continue with if key equals equals key bind here so basically the um this basically is the key down thing and then over here is basically if the key is like equals equals is basically searching kind of like it's searching so like if it is f which well if it is keybind which is this aka f so you could do this also and just remove this line but whatever <laughs> so if key equals so if key equals keybind then we can do local animation equals script dot parent dot uh, humanoid load and animation and then we could do open bracket script dot animation close bracket and we could do animation play and then we could continue with script dot parent dot right hand uh dot touched connect function um then we want to do hit and then this is basically like uh the damage part of the script so like yeah the damage so this part is basically getting the animation to play and like the keybind thing and this is um like the damage so we could do if hit dot parent dot humanoid and can do damage equals equals true then so right here it's checking um if the can if like uh if this is equal to true so if it's true then we could continue the script if it's false then it won't do this part but then we could do um can do dem the um no sorry then we could do hit dot parent uh dot humanoid take damage and then dmg so dmg is of course this over here so this is uh the amount of damage you could also just add the number in here uh and remove that this dmg line but it's just easier to configure that way and then we could do can do damage equals false and then we could do wait one and then can do damage equals true so um Let's see, why is there an error thing here? It looks like, oh, that's why, okay. So there needs to be another end over here. I'm not sure why it automatically didn't put an end, but yeah, we, um, so there should be, this is how the script should look. And I guess we could test it out. So 
I didn't make an animation for it yet, but it should do damage even if I go up to the dummy and click F or yeah. Um, so we could come up to him and click F. Okay, looks like we have an error. So this is the error right here. So what is the error in here? We have local animation equals script dot parent dot humanoid load animation script the animation there's i don't see anything wrong with that let me copy the original script from my other yeah there's nothing wrong with this so maybe hold on okay so let's um let me try to add the let me, let's just make an animation quickly so we could open up the animation editor name this right hand punch and then we could start so i think i don't i'm hmm. i'm just gonna i'm not gonna try to animate this i'm just gonna move the hand back just a bit like this just move it back um and then just have it go over here this is just i'm, I'm not really in the mood of animating right now so i'm just gonna make a really quick bad animation so technically if we space this out a bit more should be good all right that's a pretty eh, punch whatever it's fine now we could export it and we can name this right hand punch then we could publish it or finish whatever and then we copy this id and then we could close the edit editor um i don't think pasting the animation id into here would do anything and it didn't copy so let me just go to my inventory and copy it but yeah as i was saying i don't think it's gonna do any difference if there's an uh, an id in here but maybe that is the error okay there paste it in and now let's click play or f5 so let's see if it would work now okay the animation plays that's good uh let's see okay it works so basically whenever the character takes damage uh it has to your right hand needs to touch him i guess because let's say you're standing over here and you punch him it's not gonna work because um just doesn't work like that <laughs> it has to it's basically in the script it says if you touch the player's right hand then um it does damage so um yeah that's kind of the script uh here it is again i'll zoom in so you could copy it i remember this is uh if the player can do that can do damage uh, and then um, if you don't want it to do damage you just want the animation you could change this to false and then here is the uh, keybind to uh, to activate the punch so let's say I want to activate the punch with G then I'll switch this to G but I like F and then this is uh, how how much damage the player takes and then um yeah so i'll try to explain the script one more time so we have some locals so these are like some shortcuts and then here it's basically uh checking like when you click your mouse down and then it if like the the, the not your mouse your um uh your button in which it checks if the button is f and then it plays the animation over here and then over here it says if the player basically touches the human the player's right hand then um basically checks if this is true and then if it's true it basically um is uh that if the player touches uh your right hand then you'll take damage um so yeah that is the script uh you could copy it um if we I like, I like to do this new thing in my videos that if we get like a certain amount of likes, then I make the script public. So let's just say 
<laughs> there's 22 lines in this, so 22 likes, and I'll make this script public. Um, so, yeah, just check. If you don't want to type this, it's not that long of a script. It would take, um, like, five, seven minutes. Then you, like, uh, if you want to type it, then, yeah, it's only seven minutes or something of typing. If you don't want to type it, <laughs> then you can just um like wait and check back until we get 22 likes and i don't know it might take a day a few days but whenever the video hits 22 likes i'll make the script public it'll be the first link in the description um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video you could check out some more scripting tutorials on my channel and i'll see you guys next time see ya